So here's how you can share a calendar with the Apple calendar with another person. And there are like multiple things you should know about. You can share one event or the entire calendar publicly or share invites and stuff. I'm going to walk you through it. So the first option is sharing an entire calendar. That means that every single entry you add to your calendar is going to be visible by others. It has its use cases. Anyways, here in the Apple Calendar application, you're going to have to tap on calendars at the bottom of the page and you have the iCloud and other calendars. You have them in a separate sections. One is iCloud, the other is pretty much other. And you cannot share the US holidays because it's like a universal calendar, but you can share your own iCloud calendar because it's on the cloud anyway, so it's easy to share. You can do that by clicking on the i icon at the top of the page. And you get to this section, you can rename it, you can give it like a different tag, you can enable notifications and stuff, but you can add it by creating uh, this invite. So you can add a person right here. So you're gonna add some, uh, some of your contacts so you can share it with other people. In case you know someone, you can just look up some people and stuff and you can add it there. So for example, you can add it to this person. So you're going to share it through iMessage. You can click on add and now the other person is going to receive that invitation and you can see it's still pending. So it is shared with uh, me pretty much. And you can see that I can allow the other person to edit the calendar once they actually accept the invite. Because as you can see right now, it is still pending because the other person, me in this case, hasn't answered it. So it's still pending. They they don't have access to the calendar just yet, but you can edit the permission permission so you can only allow them to see the calendar and not edit any events or do anything with it. You can resend the invitation link in case you believe that they didn't get it or something. And a tapping on it allows you to see like the content information of that person. So this is how it works. And you can also just stop sharing. So in case you don't want the other person to have access to your calendar anymore, simply click on stop sharing, remove that person from the list and they no longer have access to it. So that's how it works. Then the second option is to create a shareable public link. So again, in this calendar, click on the I information icon and at the bottom you can see public calendar. So allow anyone to subscribe to read only version of this calendar. If you enable this, it takes a while because it has to create a link. And now this link can be shared to anyone using any social media. You can share it through iMessage, email, whatever. And everyone with this link will be able to view your calendar, view all the entries, information and stuff, but they cannot edit it. They can only read it. You can see it's the read only version. So pretty much anyone uh, can actually view that. The thing about it is that if you share the link with someone else, they can reshare it again. So it's public by definition. So anyone with the link can actually open it. To disable it, just turn it off and the old existing links will no longer work. That's like turning this feature off altogether. So that's how this stuff works. That's how you share the entire calendar. However, you can only perhaps want to share one event. So let me come back to my calendar, open up the day right here and create some event and stuff. And once I create it, you can add all the information and title it like event and stuff. I'm going to click on add. And now when I tap on it, I can click on edit and here are the invitees. So click on that and I can again share this particular event with others. So let's say that I have a meeting with that person. And so I'm going to just schedule it in my calendar from 1 p.m. till 3 p.m. for example. And I'm there going to add the invited person, which is going to be someone from my contact list or someone which I have the email of and they're going to receive the notification and they can add it to their calendar as well. And we will together have like an event, which is like shared event, not the entire calendar, of course, only that one particular meeting. And I'm going to see it right here that who is invited, who is coming. And it's actually very useful. So I'm going to delete this sample event. And that's how you can do it. This is how you can share the Apple calendar with another person. I hope the video helped you out. For more tutorials like this, make sure to subscribe to Fox Tech and also check out the next video right here. Thanks a lot for watching. See you guys later.